Hey guys, I'm cutting two loaves of soap today that I made yesterday. Um, surprise, surprise, I had camera problems and it didn't record. I thought it did, but it didn't. So we're going to do the cutting instead. The first one I'm going to cut is black raspberry vanilla. It's a new supplier for me. And I'm really happy with the colors. Um, smells really good. I have problems with black raspberry vanilla. They end up smelling too sweet or too bushy or something. This one is perfect and I love it. Um, I'm also due for an upgrade on my telephone next month, so I was thinking about getting the Samsung Galaxy 4 with the camera on it because it's like a real camera. If you've used one of those, tell me what you think of it. I'm a hardcore iPhone user and I love my iPhone, but I need a better camera and I can't afford like a $400 video camera right now. So, so here's this. These bars are smaller than usual. They, hmm, they smell good. <laughs> I used um, my old box mold that I had like a year ago and that box lies about its dimensions. You can pour, you can measure and pour exactly right. And it just doesn't do, it just doesn't come out the way you think it's going to come out. So, anyway, this loaf is just for me. I haven't made myself soap like in forever, so I wanted to. I'm trying to get good color and good light on here, but it doesn't want to focus. And I'm like in the brightest place in my house. My house faces... Um, I'm not sure what direction it faces to tell you the truth. It's, um, getting to my house is kind of crazy. I have to go around lots of corners, so I'm pretty much turned around by, by the time I get to my house. But the east to west light does not come into my house, so I guess that means we probably have north to south exposure, right? So, okay. But it's sparkly and pretty. And the last piece. But, uh, I'm going to cut the end off of this one because I like having testy pieces around. Anyway, this one's not getting shared with anybody. Maybe I'll give a piece to, you know, friends or whatever, but I'll probably keep it off for myself. It has a slightly spicy note in there that I'm loving right now. Hmm, smells good. Okay. So the next soap is really good. It came out really nice. See no broken corners or anything. And it came out nice and firm. It's been like, like, gosh. Not even, I don't know, maybe 20 hours since I made this one. So not even 24 hours, but I can't wait to cut into it. It's another hanger swirl. The scent is vanilla and patchouli, and it smells really earthy and delicious. Ooh, there we go, another beautiful hanger swirl. And it looks black, and it's kind of um, a brown I used, like a gray mica, like a black mica, which never comes out black. Those come out like charcoal and mixed a little red into it to make like this chocolate color. It's really pretty. And this vanilla wasn't supposed to discolor, but it did a little bit, which I'm actually okay with. Because it complements the color. This would actually be a really beautiful design for a coffee soap. There's even specks of the vanilla in there. So, cut through this. Hmm. You can smell the patchouli, but it's not like overwhelming. Like the vanilla really mellows it out a lot. <laughs> I am still working on my WordPress tutorials. It was taking longer to get those filmed and edited than I thought. And the episodes are really long, so I'm trying to cut them down into shorter pieces. So in the meantime, if you have any questions about WordPress or need to know how to use a specific function or need any recommendations for anything, just give me a, 
a shout on Facebook and I'll let you know what I think. Um, otherwise, those will be up in hopefully another week or two. I'm trying not to make them go too long. Super pretty. I am really happy with this one. <laughs> now there's some specks in here. I went light on the fragrance because it was pretty strong, but there's still some little pockets of the fragrance. And actually it looked like it might have... There's a lot of little orange spots. It looks like it might have um, tried to rice on me. But this sped up, and that could be for a couple of different reasons. One is that I wanted to try um, a new formula. Actually, I might have to check my notes because one of these soaps that I'm doing, one of them was a new formula just to kind of play with for myself, and one of them was a variation on the one that I liked the best. I can't remember which I did now. I think that this one is the... I can't remember. I'll have to look. A little air pocket in there, not surprising, but but I just think that that swirl is super dramatic. I'm totally into dramatic swirls lately. And this smells good. You can smell the vanilla under the patchouli. This is be an amazing men's scent. Mm. Just think about getting some leather scent and put with this. It'd be awesome. I'm trying to think what else is new. Not a whole lot. I need to order more supplies. And then I'm going to start getting ready, I think, maybe to open in the summertime. That one's so pretty, too. Oh no, that one went crooked. Oh well, I need a new cutter. The cheese board has been amazing as far as helping me have straight cuts, but I still get them not straight going side to side, so I need to work on that. And I'll post pictures, and I'll try and post a picture at the end of the video. That way you can see the more like true color of the of the soap. And let's cut the end off of this one. Okay. I've been thinking about getting a one arm cutter so I can adjust the sizes of my bars as I want. But you know, I just don't really do piping. Um, I do cupcakes once in a while, but I don't do really do bar piping. So. I kind of thought maybe I'll just get like a tank style cutter so I can cut them all at once and make them more like the same size. I'm not sure yet. So that's the last piece. And I'm really happy with these and I'll definitely post pictures. Thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.